This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.com. Um, 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 um. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives, and they all wear shiny badges, and they all reject the state. Okay, so the shinybadges.com people reject the state. How nice, says the average person. So, you're a bunch of anarchists. Who would build the roads? Yada yada. I've always thought a much more effective ideological position is to reject acts of aggression and harmful fraud. You can almost further summarize this as just being against acts of aggression. People have been rejecting the state for so long that it just sounds cliché. Strident, bravado-ish, maybe even insufficiently specific. I tend to think the more specific you can make a grievance, the more people you can turn against it. Well, against the source of your grievance. I understand that there are special treatments being given to bureaucrats here, that they don't have to go through the metal detector, but average people do. Is that true? So here, for instance, at City Hall in Keene, my grievance back around 2012 or 2013 was that bureaucrats were getting special treatment and they were being allowed on the second and third floors of City Hall without a metal detector check. Well, pretty much all average people were forced to go through a metal detector to get up there. Well, I could have showed up here and complained about the state existing, which would have gotten me nowhere. Or I could spew my questions about taxpayers being forced to underwrite this discriminatory policy. With the latter approach, it's just harder for all these bureaucrats to treat me as a non-human. It also gives you a chance to divide the better bureaucrats against the worse ones. A chance to get some of them on your side. So for instance, I called the mayor about this concern, talked to him about it on the air on a radio program, and because the state was imposing the metal detector sort of against his town, he agreed with my position that this shouldn't be going on. At least part of it shouldn't be going on. I'm sure there are many other cases where the state would support one of our liberty positions against the authoritarian of Keener. By focusing on a specific, reasonable concern, you can get more people on your side, you have a wider variety of targets to pick from, issues to pick from, you can keep it from being as personal. Why is it that you guys don't have to go through the metal detector, but I, I and average citizens do? Um, because we have ID tags. Could I get an ID tag without being a city employee? No. You need to be an employee to get a tag. So do you feel uncomfortable getting special treatment like that? I don't think it's special treatment. I'm an employee. <laughs> so, although I might have other concerns about some of the people in this building, asking this question is not necessarily being against them. Hopefully it's fairly obvious that there is an activity that I'm opposing. It's better to oppose small groups than large ones, better to oppose individuals than groups, and better to oppose, to oppose individual actions than to oppose an entire person. It becomes a sort of civic surgical debate strike. Ultimately, of course, what would be even better would be to follow our Buckminster Fuller's advice. He used to say you're better off instead of fighting against something, you create a competitor to that something that puts it out of business uh, by offering a superior alternative. And you know, I really don't have much in the way of ideas on how to appropriately do something like that. The problem, I guess, is that it's probably risky to set up any kind of alternate government in New Hampshire it comes with the danger that this alternate government would just become an additional layer of oppression. Kind of the way homeowners associations have evolved maybe over the last 20 or 30 years in the U.S. Just an additional layer of government. As if six weren't enough. Or maybe it's five, I lose track. So, I don't know, maybe the least bad solution is to apply the same laser-like approach toward fixing problems that is, uh, that is appropriate for pointing them out. Maybe you have some ideas. Those are mine. Blockchain.info's free Bitcoin web wallet.
chock full of privacy and security features, two-factor authentication, a second password for sending coins. They never have control over your passwords or your coins. They don't even require your personal info. Get yours today at blockchain.com. Um, 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 um.